Tim, this is Marty with Beacon Aviation. I just wanted to send you a three minute video. Uh, at least I'm going to try to keep it at three minutes. That's going to give you an overview of the flight that we did along Highway 69 from Emory up to Leonard. It's right at 50 miles. Flew this on the 11th and delivered it the next week. Here you can see a black line, which is really a series of photo points. Every dot represents when the camera fired. And it's coupled to our airborne GPS and IMU which allows us to do a project like this without ground control. And so here's the actual imagery. We'll zoom in on it. And you can see Highway 69 now, right in the center of the uh, corridor. And the width of the corridor is right at 600 feet. We actually trimmed it down. We captured a bit more. But you can see in the bottom left, 600 feet. And on the bottom right, you'll see state plane coordinates and lat long. So it's a 600 foot corridor. Let me go ahead and grab the zoom tool. We'll continue to zoom in and now the super high resolution starting to pay dividends <clears throat> it's a two inch gsd so you can see everything quite clearly and we can measure off of all this good data so that's showing a width right at 24 feet from white line to white line and the uh, the divots along the center of the line uh, center of the highway are quite visible uh, painted stripes the condition of them uh, pavement uh, management issues uh, are quite apparent and if I zoom out we can move up north I'll show you a, a power line they're quite visible so there's power lines so the resolution is good let's zoom down to our Emory sample and this is a section right over downtown Emory highway 515 highway 69 same imagery but what I want to point out is that we have more than just ortho imagery. From our orthos, we're able to uh, create surfaces. So this is a digital surface model created from this flight. <clears throat> and then at any two points, I can click and get a line of sight profile. And as I move along, you'll see the red X moving on the yellow line. And you can see that's 82 feet to 79. So we're only dealing with three foot differenti differentiation here. But it's easy to identify it. And then we can take and zoom in kick it into 3D and look at uh, the surface in 3D. And then last but not least, we can merge the uh, DSM, which is a series of last points. We can merge that with the imagery. And so it looks like an ortho image, but it's not. It's last data with color from the ortho. So we'll zoom in. And now you can start to see the individual points, individual points. I'll zoom back out and we'll look at it in 3D because it surely does make for an attractive 3D presentation. And here we are, we'll zoom in. All right, Tim, I hope this helps you understand what we captured here a couple of weeks ago. I look forward to following up with you. Bye-bye now.